Metrolinx's newest commuter rail station opened beside Highway 404 on the south side of Bloomington Road on Monday, June 28, 2021. Bloomington GO Station completes the two-station northerly extension of the Richmond Hill GO train from Richmond Hill to where Richmond Hill meets southeastern Aurora and the western edge of Witcher, Stillville. Planning for the station began in 2009, with construction proposed to start in 2011 with an opening date in 2013. Budget cuts caused the plans to be temporarily set aside, but construction was announced in November 2014, with work beginning on the intermediate Gormley Station, which opened on December 5, 2016. Construction on Bloomington Station began in early 2017, with an initial budget of $82.4 million. Bloomington Station offers a full platform that can handle 12 car trains, as well as a snow melt system to keep walkways clear of ice and snow in winter without the use of salt. The station has been built to LEED gold standards for environmental sustainability. Provisions have been made for bicycle and scooter parking, there's a park and ride, and a bus loop with six bays. These bus bays, however, are initially not being used as much as they could be. Other than the four inbound morning and outbound afternoon trains, service to the station is provided by the 61 Richmond Hill train bus, operating hourly southbound until 2 p.m. and returning hourly northbound for the remainder of the day, weekdays only. York Region Transit has not announced plans to connect to the station, and the nearest local bus stop is nearly six kilometers away. Indeed, the station sits in a very underdeveloped area, far from any community that can provide walk-up traffic. Given this, and the station's proximity to Highway 404, it's no surprise that Bloomington's centerpiece is its three-level parking garage, with space enough to handle 760 cars inside and 238 cars outside. The station has been built to intercept cars that might otherwise use the Don Valley Parkway. The reduced ridership resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic has kept these cars away, however, at least for now. In some ways, Bloomington brings into stark relief the debate over Metrolinx's transit developments. While the agency has focused on building regional megaprojects, there is concern that little attention has been paid to how often these services will operate and how passengers will access these facilities over the last mile, or, in Bloomington's case, the last three and a half miles. GO stations have been criticized for being surrounded by a sea of parking, rather than denser, mixed-use developments that could change the suburban fabric of the Greater Toronto Area into something more urban and sustainable. With Bloomington Station not receiving local traffic at all from York Region Transit, served only by GO trains and buses during weekdays and not weekends, and far removed from any sort of development that could support walk-up traffic, some could argue that the station has been built to serve just car drivers rather than everybody else who lives and works in the Greater Toronto Area. While it is true the station hopes to intercept a thousand automobiles that would otherwise clog Toronto's streets, some are asking whether this approach is consistent with the LEED gold standards the station was designed to achieve. Time will tell. York Region may improve service to the station, and the GO trains may push further north, closer to the communities of Mount Albert and Peffala, residents of whom may be encouraged to leave their cars at home rather than driving them to the GO parking lot. This is James Bow at Transit Toronto. Thank you for watching this video. Whether you agree or disagree, we hope you will join the friendly discussion in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and feel free to visit us on our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out the hundreds of articles and photographs about the history of transit in the Greater Toronto Area on our main website. You can find links down below. Thank you for your time and attention, and join us next time as we explore more Toronto Area Transit.